Hello everyone, my name is Ravi. I am the Creative and Tactical Director for Gary Fong Incorporated, and I'm here to give you an introduction to a new product we just received in the mail yesterday. For those of you who follow Gary's tutorials, you'll know that he loves the Photix Odin system. Uh, unfortunately, the demand for that product has far exceeded the supply, and they're pretty much sold out everywhere, including our own eStore, um, which has left many Sony users struggling to find a high-speed sync trigger option. Um, that is, until now. This is the Nissan DI700A flash with built-in radio receiver and this is the Nissan Air One radio commander. Um, these products have been available for Nikon and Canon for a little while but, uh, but have just now become available for Sony uh, and the Sony multi-interface hot shoe. Um, the trigger, uh, it's a 2.4 gigahertz TT enabled or TTL enabled system and has an effective range of, uh, of 98 feet while the flash is a um, pretty robust little flash, it's got a guide number of 177 at ISO 100, so it's not quite as powerful as like a 600 EXRT flash, but uh, still very capable. And then of course the zoom on the flash goes from 24 to 200 millimeter, and then there's a little flap on the inside that will also take it to 16 millimeter. But the true kicker um, is the fact that it is fully compatible with, uh, with the Sony hot shoe on current cameras like the A6000, which I have here, or the A77 uh, Mark II or A7 Mark II. Um, all those are fully compatible right out of the box without any adapter. Um, I played with this system uh, yesterday afternoon and today, and I already love it. The A1 controller is pretty compact and doesn't look disproportionate to the size of the A6000. Um, by comparison, it's about two-thirds the size of, uh, of the Photix Odin system. Um, and as far as the flash goes, uh, there's no additional receiver to it, so the hookup to the, uh, the flash is just, uh, just syncing them to begin with, so you, again, you don't have anything at the base of it. To, uh, to lose or set up. There's a small dial on the back of the, of the controller that allows you to quickly scroll through uh, the controls. They're very self-explanatory. It was, it was very easy to get used to right from the beginning. Um, but a couple quick buttons allows you to go to high-speed sync. Uh, it also allows you to adjust the exposure compensation and then also allows uh, the use of controlling groups, A, B, and C. You can set those on flash units and have a multi-light setup with different ratios, etc. Uh, again, this system is literally brand new and uh, has so far been uh, a solid alternative to the Photix Odin system. Uh, and we've been able to do all the effects and techniques that, uh, that Gary has demonstrated in his YouTube and premium channel videos. The flash itself is fully compatible with the light sphere, obviously, um, the light blade and the power snoot, so everything is so far working seamlessly, which is why we're super excited about it. And the best part, um, as of today, the, the flash and the Air One controller, the set, is $299, and then you can buy additional flash units for $259. So that's $259 for the flash, and then $299 for the setup. Um, so again, we're super excited about this. Gary is, is uh, definitely going to do a full-length tutorial on how to use everything, but we just wanted to get it out there and let you guys know that there is a really exciting option coming to market right now. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel where we've got hundreds of instructional videos, and we also come out with new content all the time. Remember that subscribers get first crack at the new content. Also, we have SonyA6000.com where we have an interactive camera and a one hour and 55 minute professional tutorial on how to unleash the power of your Sony A6000. Thanks for watching.